Hello everyone, welcome to Tech World with Amjay. This is Murari. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, enjoying a lot with the ChatGPT coding. So in today's session, I will explain how you can utilize the ChatGPT extension to create a static web template in a very less amount of time. So let's come on and follow our video uh, to create a step by step. So I already have opened the Visual Studio code. I'm using the VS Code editor to create the HTML template. Okay. So first of all, I will go here and click on file and will create a folders. Okay. Where I will put all the web pages that we will create. Okay. So inside here in, in my location, I will create a folder called HTML demo HTML html demo project okay so you can put any name according to your requirement so here i will click on select folder select folders okay so now i am under the vs code editor with that particular folders okay so now the next thing is I mean, uh, I will do the, this activity with the help of chat GPT extension. So I already have installed the chat GPT extension with our Visual Studio ID. If you are not doing that, like, uh, I mean, if you uh, haven't that chat GPT extension right now, then please go and check out our video, which is available in the video description. So how you can add this particular description, I mean, extension to use it. Okay. So in my case, it is already there. So here i have open on the editor mode there is a two mode so i will not explain much about uh, how you can use that chat gpt extension because i already have created a video so you can go and check out to learn more about so currently i'm in the editor mode there there are two modes so editor and conversation mode so currently i'm in the editor mode here here i have already framed uh questions to save your time so here i will go and copy the first question so first question is just for create a template so here i will go and paste in this query window so design a static educational website with colorful header and footer and with home avatar service contact us login sign up page links using latest html css bootstrap and javascript so i have just posted my question here i will click on this ask button okay so now you can see the chat GPT is writing code for us. I mean, I'm not doing anything. So it will take just some time to create this waveform. Okay. So, I mean, the progress is going on. Okay. So looks the code is completed uh, i mean here something is missing like uh, html okay so it looks html tag is missing so here i will go and save this particular file called main page main page okay and we'll click on save so i mean this file is already saved uh, with the html extension right now okay so here i will go and run this file to check out our form is created or not so i will click on terminal it will open the new terminal so here i will go and write start start so the file name is main page main is dot html i will click on enter okay so now you are able to uh, see that website which is created by chat gpt in a very i mean uh, five second uh, it was created okay so now here you have the home about us service contact us login and the sign up so i mean this is a basic template that is provided by the chat gpt coding editor okay so now you can go and customize or add something according to your requirement so i will go and create two three more forms and will add that forms uh, with with the main page okay so i already have the framed a question for login form so the another question is just for Design an interactive web page for 
login using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. So I will just go and click on ask. So it will create a interactive login form. So the process is going on. Here you can see. Okay. So this is done. I will go and save with the name called login form okay login form okay i will just go and save with the extension of html will go and run this html file as well to know about how looks like it is login form okay i will click on okay so here you can see i mean a, a pretty uh, a login form is created uh, let's go back and uh, we'll do I mean we'll create some more pages so I already have framed a question for uh, a design interactive web pages for sign up so here you, uh, we will go and paste whatever page is required right now design an interactive web page for the sign up using HTML CSS and bootstrap I will click on ask so one thing you need to consider i mean your question should be a uh, 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 i mean should not be a open ended question i mean the question should be well framed so how your question will be well framed so chat gpt will provide uh, the exact answers according to that okay so i will go and save it control s here i will save with the name called sign up sign up I will click on save now I will run this form as well so I will go and run this form okay so here you can see this form is looks like this now I will create one more pages for that so I have one more already framed questions which is for contact us space okay so I will go inside the VS Code Editor will go and paste this question like design an interactive web pages web page for contact us uh, using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. So I will click on ask. So the process is going on. ChatGPT is able to write the code to create a contact us form. So I mean, what is your uh, specific requirement you can put in your question. So so I already uh, told you that how you will frame your questions. So ChatGPT will answer uh, exactly uh, according to your question. So I will go and save here. And here I will write this form name is called contact us contact. Okay, contact us. So I will go and save it. Here I will run this page as well, just for showing how the pages look like. So here I will write, contact us, contact us, will click on enter. Okay, so now I have the contact us page, sign up page, login page, and this is the main page. So here, I mean, uh, there's something else like home page about us, services. So I mean, uh, because this is a more specific page, that's why I will not create uh, the about us and uh, service pages. So about us is related to whatever uh, the web application you are creating over that. But uh, contact us, login and sign up is almost same, or we can say a general forms. That's why I have created, and it is just for demo. That's why uh, I will not uh, go in more deeper. Okay, I will I will do one thing because currently when you will click here like contact us then it will provide an error because uh, the contact us page is not there right now. So I will go and uh, link this particular page in our local host. So here I will open our main page and uh, currently I have copied the login form. So here I will go and paste this. So this is the login form. I mean, this link should open as a login form. Another one is sign up page. So I will copy this link again and will go and 
paste with that sign up SRF link. So I mean, Chat GPT will provide you a uh, initial level of code, but after that you are open to uh, modify or add anything according to your requirements. So I have added the sign up as well. I will add the contact us. So I will go and copy this particular link right now. So I will go and paste here on the contact contact us again I will move this part of code so now uh, this form I mean main form will navigate with contact us sign up and login the rest service about us is depend on whatever specific requirements you have okay uh, so I will go and run our main form again main page again okay so I will click on this so here you are on the main page so I have uh, I mean initiated the URL with contact us login and sign up so I will click on contact us so here you can see I'm on contact us again I will go and click on login so here I you can see I'm on login page again you will go and click on sign up so here you are on the sign up page so our intention is just to show how with the help of chat gpt extension you can write the end-to-end -end static web applications okay so uh, now the code is uh, in your hand you can do whatever customization required but uh, what is the initial settings html tags and everything is uh, done by chat GPT. So I mean it will save your initial time to set up everything related to HTML page HTML tags div tags and some other things like if, if you're talking about uh, It is by default set it down some Style sheet and some links related to bootstrap and all so I mean this type of activities uh, I mean on priority uh, Created by the chat GPT. Okay so this will help you to save your time and improve the productivity to do something else okay so if you feel this video looks helpful to you then please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon and uh, like and share with your friends